what's going on YouTube? I just want to share with you guys a deck list that topped recently at Nowhere Toys and Comics. This is Jeff, and this is going to be his green deck. Go ahead, Jeff. You can start with the babies if you want. Alright, uh, yeah. So the Tomos are very simple. The worms, and then big worm. Why these worms? Uh, all of my Megas tend to be very uh, tend to be very big, tend to be very for Digiburst. So you have obviously this, the Digiburst. So went into it, it has a, it has a down the stack for free. So um, not, not really too hard. Why this one? Um, usually Chaos Mon, if I bump into it, it sounds a baby. Or Lila or any one of my ultimates, if they swing into a, into a Mon, I want to have the stack for the, for the free swing. Uh, there's little babies. Now for my rookies. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Okay, perfect. Uh, my rookies not really that well, a bit different. Um, three Argo Mons, why Argo? I like Argo. Uh, Goblin could be either one. You, you want three of them? You can you can swap it out for let's say four, maybe two. Really, really, really depends on your deck variant. I use three because I think that's a soft, uh, sweet number for me, uh, and also cheap evolution cost. Well, we saw, yeah, cheap play cost. Three Palmon, why three Palmon? Well, sorry, four Palmon, I'm sorry. Uh, why the Palmon? Um, again, same thing, I just went into a Digimon. The free two stacks gets over a lot of stuff that people don't really expect. It can get over in Pilgrimon with one of my Digimon that I'm gonna show you, which is gonna be an ultimate, I mean, a Mega, sorry. And get over a lot of a lot of uh, Digimon that tends to be either 15 or uh, 15K or higher. Uh, four of them, amazing number for me. Three Tentomon starting deck. Why this? Why three? One, because for me, my luck, I tend to always hard play. I either get a Mimi or a Neo Spray, and then I cry. Uh, three is a sweet spot number. Why? Because you don't want to see them and then not have, have no other rookies to evolve into. Or if you need to hard play them and you don't want to break them, this has to be kind of a bricky card. People don't really want to say it. I say it's bricky card. Three, sweet spot number for me personally. Dog, what can I say? It kills Hammer Sparks. It kills a lot of decks that runs a lot of memory or memory power cards. So this kills it. You can run. You can drop this uh, three Terrier to Argo. I have it at three. I have it at two because I think to me sweet spot number for me personally. You tend to have it at three. Hidden Tech. One Lalaman. Why one? Well, uh, if you have it and you can evolve into it beautiful if you don't have it doesn't really matter but why you want to have this obviously green uh you have nidhogg you have uh my other my other um megas that tend to usually swing into stuff and then i can get this one back and if i have a mimi out i can suspend the mimi bring out another uh egg put it over it and then and then i can turn on my combo off of that so i have my argomon Palmons, Tento, Terrier, and one Lilo. Uh, you can swap around these. Um, I usually, my ratio, four of these, too good. Three of these, too good. And then these ratios, you can swap them out. The Lila and the Argo, you can swap them out uh, whichever way you want to. Now for the champions. This is gonna be a no-brainer because obviously, you know, this meta is an angle swing. So, Hokabu Teru blockers and four Woodman blockers. Not really too hard to understand why why this ratio. You wanna you wanna survive. You don't wanna get hit. And then, oh no, I have no more Digimon. I can't do anything else. Rip is mean and cheap evolution costs. Blockers. Not really, you know, too hard to understand why I have this. Pretty sure everybody will have it if they can, or they do. Now this is the now the other four or three depending on which way you want to go to the deck has to be variants. Uh, people do Roachmon, some people do Steammon. I do veggies. Why veggies? Veggies are always good. Gets over uh, Omnimon. Gets over uh, Mirror Match for Nidhogg. Uh, four, six K B, uh, six K beat stick. Pretty good ratio. Uh, pretty good beat stick. Pretty good evolution cost cheap. Play cost cheap. Not really that cheap as Roachmon, but it does get over a lot of stuff. That's the reason why I have it at four. Always good. I tend to always break, and I have to hard slam this. I cry. Now for my ultimates. Now this tends to be another type of 
wish washi ratio four blossoms now people now some people are saying when i run the four no i mean sorry three blossoms <laughs> my bad uh when i run the four blossoms of one argo uh reasoning blossoms are only good for me in the nidhogg i want to uh absorb the nidhogg absorb gets over trump stores gets over a lot of stuff that might kill the nidhogg next row of options usually purple that's my hard matchup um why only three instead of four and then the argo argo if i have to hard slam it it's an eight cost 6k uh 6k dp tends to lose a lot of matches also i don't really run too many rookies or rookies to hard play to justify the argo uh blossom for me is perfect uh it only goes into mid if i have to hard slam it it's a seven still a pretty big number but not as bad as other as, as other ultimates Walking Flower Cannon. What can I say? Lilamon is a straight up Walking Flower Cannon. Sadly, it is a three, um, a three to evolve, but still, Walking Flower Cannon, Digi Burst, swing into over stuff, that's why. Lila, this works. Digi Burst, one stack, 8,000, gets over a lot of stuff. Or if I have to swing to something, and this is the egg, swing into over, it's still 8,000. Either way, always good. Now, this is the spicy tech that people tend to be very sleeping upon. I like it because it's a good tech card and a good card to surprise your opponent. Mega Couple Terror. Now, some people may ask why is it called Mega and it's an ultimate. No one knows. Other, other thing. Um, why this? Instead of an Argo, maybe uh, uh, Lily, anything, uh, anything with the other ultimates. May, uh, simple reason this effect is too good not to pass to pass up now then i this happened to me play this had another had another um digimon on top of it had the mega i chaos mods i swan into it i otk i otk green player an otk deck and i otk him why because this burns and then the other one does piercing it's too good way too fast it burns gets over a lot of those type of security effects that tend to either wipe a digimon usually options or if your digimon is a bit weaker it will get over it so this is the reason why i run it i run it at three so people run it at four so people run it at two three for me is a good spot three 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 i like that number again I'm a, i was a Yu-Gi-Oh player reason why i like threes Now, time for the Megas. Now, no brainer. Three Nidhogs. Board wipe, uh, 13k DP, big beefy boy. There's no brainer for the why you're running, you're running at three. People, some people run it at two, some people run it at four. I think four is too much, two is too little, three, sweet spot. Again, with the threes, this is gonna be uh, usually my ratio. Now, three Hercules Kabuteru. Why Hercules Kabuteru? It's strong. It is surprisingly good how many people don't understand this is a walking flower cannon and it pierces. Very strong. This, with this under it, it makes people cry. I did that multiple times in, in, in other tourneys. It makes people cry. They don't, they don't suspect it, they don't see it. It's very, it still surprises me how people sleep on these two cards alone. They sleep on them. And hopefully they can sleep on them because this deck is too good and I don't want to mirror match it because it's kind of eight for me. Spicy stack. I do spicy stack. We know TK has it. This card is too good. Grand Kuagu. Now, you may ask, why won't Grand Kuagu? Well, one reason, uh, Digiburst eggs, obviously. Second reason, I can Digiburst two. Get one for security. Let's say I have this, I swing into a Digimon, I kill it, I pierce it. Now, obviously, what everyone always has in green or black, Chaos Mon. Why wouldn't you run it? Too good, amazing. Now then, it has plus one security. I swing into another Digimon. What security? Plus one, plus the burn. That's five security in one turn, I can do. Usually it's one turn, it tends to be two turns, but it tends to be one turn if I have the right matchup. That already does OTK better than OTK itself, in my personal opinion, because you are more safe, you have more options to go off. 
this hurts a lot of decks. This hurts a lot of stuff that will get over. That would, it were a surprise factor, a very nice niche factor, so they can build, oh, they can build around it, usually purple. Usually in Digimon, you tend to build around decks, or you tend to, or you tend to build around decks around your local area. This surprises a lot of people. Just these two cards alone is a surprise factor for my deck alone because they see green, they see oh, I'm playing OTK. I drop this and I drop this. They are surprised, they don't know what to do, and then I just beat it over. Also, let's say if I have this on there, I turn into a Digimon, that is 13k. That gets over and craps on a Digimon. My main matchup with Pilgrimon. I turn into a Pilgrimon. I burn. I have 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. Exactly. 2,000 plus the last. So it is 13k. 13k beats it gets over almost anything right now. For right now, obviously. So that's the reason why I run the PAL, run this, run the up. There's a lot of reasons why, you know, again. Surprise factor, burn factor, big, oh, big number factor. So two of them for me is a personal sweet spot. You don't want any more one or two because it can be bricky. And you don't want to have a brick in green because you will cry. Two chaos. What can I say? Chaos. Love them. Beautiful. Digivoss. Went into the Digimon. I love you. And piercing, best thing in the best thing in the game. Personally for me. I love piercing. So three again. Three Nid. Three Kabuteru. For uh, two Kuag and um, two Chaos. That is my matchup. Now, some people will ask, oh, but you could break. You can. Does it happen to me? Yes. Do I cry? 100%. Because it is sad. I always cry when I break, especially in green. Because then I can't do anything about it. Now, options. Two Needle Sprays. Dan da da da. HPD. Well, obviously, beautiful. Always the, the trifecta. I wish this came back. I wish this came back to two. I will personally put the same at two. It's beautiful. I love this card. Please Bandai, bring it back. Free my boy HPD. And then some people may run two Mimis. I want three. Why three Mimis? One, you want to bring out as many rookies as possible, many eggs as possible, get that draw factor in. This deck, sadly, it's not last format. Last format, you could have waited. You could bring out Digimon little by little. You get to, you know, build up your board. This format is hide and go swing. You need to hide in your raising area until you are big enough to bring it out and to just wipe. I want three Mimis because surprise is again surprise factor. No one expects three Mimis. Um, it brings out, it turbos out every card that I need to. Memory, I can't get starved. And for me personally, I always still meet me and my security. So that's really why I run the three Mimis. Again, two Needle Sprays, one HPD, and three Mimis. Anything else you want me to ask? Okay, so thank you so much for your time, Jeff. Thank you for explaining your deck. And it's an awesome deck. Um, I mean, you. You seen it in action. You saw that I too will worry, buddy. You saw it in action. That wasn't fun. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the profile. Remember, we brick by nature. <laughs>